Hello, in this short video demonstration I'm going to show you how to constrain and schedule a batch of nets that you'd like to in Allegro. So here I am in Allegro. I have these five nets going from uh, some components up here down to this chip here over to a connector and down here they're going to components U15 then to component U14. What I want to do is I want to change the scheduling of these nets so that they all go for instead to U14 and then over to U15. So I want to change that around for all of them at once. Uh, the, a quick way of doing that is to use the signal integrity tool. So you can go off here and hit the probe button under analyze and uh, select any of the nets. So you can just click on any one of them and it'll tell you which one you clicked, A3 in this case. Hit view topology to open up the SIG XP tool. I'm just going to use a, a simple signal integrity license, just the ORCAD one, and that's going to fire up the ORCAD PCBSI tool for me. And here's that net, so you can see it's going from U2 over to U18 and U14 at the end and U15 here first. I'll just zoom in so we can see that a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is I'd like to change the order of these two nets. So I'd like U14 to come first and U15 next. So let's change those connections around. So U14 first and U15 after this little transmission line. So change your order of your nets. I've now made a scheduling change to my nets very, very simply. I can also add other constraints if I want to. So if I want to go here to constraints, I can add some other constraints like propagation delay. I can say from U2 to U15, I want to have a length rule saying that it has to go from 2,000 to 3,000 mils. And I can just add that rule. So I'll hit OK to add that rule in there. Once I'm all done this, I can just save this topology file, save as, and save it somewhere. I'll save it onto my desktop and I'll call it uh, demo. Demo.top is going to be the extension, just so you can see that, demo.top. Once that's saved off on my desktop, I can close out of the SI tool at this point. And here in the, uh, in the Allegro tool, I want to go to the Constraint Manager. So I'm just going to open that up right now, uh, right here. <clears throat> Here's the Constraint Manager. And in the Constraint Manager, what I want to do is go to File, Import, Electrical Constraint Set, and that's going to look for a .top file. So there we go, a .top file. I'm going to go to my desktop and grab that demo one that I just made. And what that's going to do is it's going to make a, a constraint file for me right here. So I have that demo file that I just made. Its scheduling is based on a template. And it also has some propagation rules. So U2 to U15 is 2 to 3,000. That all came from the signal integrity tool. I now want to apply it to a bunch of nets that I have, so I can click down here in nets, and uh, you can see here that the nets that I've shown have this pink arrow here, and for those nets I want to apply the constraint set rule demo that I just made. So their scheduling is now based on a template, and if I go back to the board, I can see right away that the scheduling has changed. So now the wires are coming over U14 and then back to U15, so you can see that that has changed around and the scheduling is now updated. We should also be able to see the, the propagation delay rules as well. So you can see, um, I should have some here, there we go. So A2, U2 to U15 is 2,000 to 3,000. And notice that it does keep track of the pins for us. So A3 is U2, 52 to U15, pin 8. And it's keeping track of that, the rule remains the same. So that's how to apply rules to a bunch of nets at the same time to change your scheduling and apply rules to your buses. All right, thanks for watching.